Chris. Or actually, my name is here. I'm gonna make a sorry. Wait, I'm gonna make a new habit. Um, my name is Scott, and welcome to Mind the Maker. And today, <laughs> sorry about the coughing. I'm really. Ah, God, I've been doing like a lot of videos over the last few days, and anyone who's watching this in consecutive order without knowing that it was just the last few days would think I was like deathly ill all the time or something. But no. So, anyway, though, I'm going to be making an intro, er, an intro video for this game called Elite Dangerous. This is one of my favorite games, so I'm going to introduce it now. I'm not going to do full game right now, I'm just going to show it off in training. So. We're just gonna do a few things and hope that you guys enjoy them. Because it's just gonna be to do it. Like, and show off the game and introduce you to what the game's about. So, because I'll probably be doing a lot of videos on this game too, just because I love this game. It's fun. I might even start doing news videos if that's okay with anyone watching. If you guys, you know, like, follow, of course. If you don't follow, then I don't see the point in doing these videos for you guys. But. So, yeah, isn't that cool? First of all, you got guns you can deploy into track. Number two, we're gonna get into some nice combat here. There's a ship. Let's target him. Sore fluke, harmless. Scanning. Lawless. Shoot him down. Let's just laterally thrust. You can't really tell we're doing it anymore. Until you hear that nice engine for to switch around some stuff here. This mission is really easy, so don't see, be surprised if it seems kind of anticlimactic because it's really easy to be. Well, that was climactic, just as I say that. Go, oh, dude. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Whoa. There you go. That was our first guy killed. Yeah, nice. So, you can see how I would like that. But there's more, trust me. So, next, let's get into wolf pack tactics. Um, now we get to use a different ship called the Cobra MK3, Mark III. You know, they're releasing a Cobra Mark IV, I'll get to that. If, see, if you're new to this game, I'm just introducing it now to both the channel and to you guys. Out there who've never seen it. Um. <coughs> Though I suppose you've probably seen ads about it quite a bit. Or at least I sure have. But here's what we're gonna do. See, we got Wingman right now. Handsome Hammer and Slick Messenger. I guess is their names. What we're doing is we're just gonna be driving forward. Range of charge detected. Misfortune. And this is our target. We're gonna be taking him down. See, he's already shooting at me. How dare you! Let's not do that, dude. So yeah, my guns are just blazing. As you notice, these are a different type of gun. Oh god, that guy drove awfully close. Let's go back after him. Crap. The guns are reloading at this exact moment when I had a good shot at him. Yeah, we got him! Woo! Misfortune. Nice explosion. I love those explosions. The graphics on this game are probably gonna be a bit buggy for you guys. In fact, they'll probably be a ton buggy. I'm just showing off some of the stuff. Now we're gonna do mono on mono. Me and a cobra against another cobra. I'm a pretty good pilot, so I should be able to beat him. <laughs> I've fought cobras before. And I've killed anacondas, but I've never done it alone. Because I've never had a good enough ship to be able to do it alone. I've never been anything in a combat vessel beyond a cobra so I'm pretty sure like I've never been in a courier I've been in a diamondback scout but I don't necessarily consider that a combat vessel it's more like an exploration vessel where the crap are we yeah this place is a nice viewpoint I've never actually been here not that I can tell 
Oh crap, I forgot we had real guns. This is a lot harder than I remember. Mostly because of the fact that there's rail guns involved. I hate using those, but they're fun to use sometimes. You could probably be wondering, well, how can rail guns not work? Well, sometimes they can be a bit pains in the butt. There's no such thing as a gimbal virgin. They're all fixed. I know they're heavy weapons, but in a game where you're in the middle of space, that can be a problem. didn't work. Let's convert all power to shields there. remember how I beat this last time, actually. This is an interesting combat experience. God, I got close. See if we can get close for a good shot. Crap. Crap. My shields are offline, I'm taking some damage. See if we can get close on this guy and do a maneuver that might throw him off. Oh the odd that didn't sound right, but let's um try it out. Flight assist off. Flight assist off. Oh crap, canopy. Good thing that this isn't necessarily about getting back anywhere. No wonder I'm in trouble. I'm heading backwards. Shields online. You know, if I could use my real guns, this would be nice. We gotta hit. Oh, and he's dead for the count with that railgun shot. Destroyed. Now, I took some significant damage. These are not my weapons of choice at all. But. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, sorry. But that happened. I don't know if I should do a supply, supply strike. These are pretty fast. Might as well. They're pretty intense, too. They're really fun. Then this one you get to use a vulture, a vessel that I've been really close to several times but have never actually been able to buy. I'm really hoping to be able to get it eventually, but so far I've never had any luck in getting some secure missions. This is a nice place. Buy your hard points. Find the big score over there, you can see him already. This is what our ships look like, really. The big score is what we call them. Yes. <laughs> um, it's a very mercenary galaxy. Ready, set, launch! See, I love how you're probably wondering how I can do anything yet until you see the words missile rack there. deal with the main bulk of the enemies while I take out this guy's shields and health. And there he goes in spectacular explosion because he's a larger ship. 
<laughs> I love that. Okay, guys, so that was Elite Dangerous. This game is a really fun game to play. It, um... Oh, and that's a, a station in the background there. The stations in this are pretty cool, too. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video, and tell me if you want me to play this game more often. I will be playing it, but, you know, tell me if you want me to play it more. Because, <laughs> Sorry, again, coughing issue lately. I'm sick. Ah. But, you know. Yeah, tell me if you want me to play it more. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. I hope you had fun with this, and peace.